In this video, I'll show you how you can use Electrum on your computer to store your Bitcoins offline, away from the exchanges like Coinbase and local Bitcoin. So what you first need to do, you first need to open up a web browser, go to Google and just do a Google search for Electrum. Once we do that, we should see the electrum.org website. This is the only website you should ever download Electrum from. So click on that and it will take you to the main website. So here you can read a bit about Electrum, but I'm gonna explain everything you need to know in this video. So just go to the download tab, we need to download it for whatever operating system you're using. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows installer here, but obviously choose which operating system you're using. Once you click on which one you want to download, it's going to download to your computer and you can then run this file here. This is going to be the installation wizard. Okay, so after opening that file, we can then install Electrum. So you can choose where on your computer you want to go and install it to. If you want to put all of your Bitcoin things on, say for example, a memory stick, a USB stick, you can do that. You can install it fully on the USB stick or you can just install it onto your computer, it's up to you. So click install and just wait for this to install here. Okay, so now that's complete, we can click close and we can go and just do a search on our computer here for Electrum. So just open it and it should open Electrum for the first time. Now, when you first see it, you might not see this. It's given me the option to access my old wallet because I've already installed Electrum before, but you'll probably see create a new wallet. You'll probably see this. Here you can choose what you want your wallet to be called. So I'm just going to choose wallet underscore test and you can save that wallet into a place onto your computer by clicking choose and then just finding somewhere to save it. So do that and then click next. Choose standard wallet. For most of you, standard wallet is going to be what you need. Then click next again and click create a new seed. Then just leave it on SegWit and click next. So now this next part is very important. This is your seed for your wallet. This is essentially a string of words which you can use to log back into your wallet if you lose it, if your hard drive gets corrupted, if your computer gets stolen, lost. With this seed here, you can get back into your wallet and you can access your funds. Because remember, when you store your Bitcoin in an offline wallet, you're in charge of that money. And if you don't remember this, there's no way you'll be able to ever get back into your wallet if you do lose it. So there are a couple of ways to save your seed. The best way and the way I recommend is just go and write it down on a piece of paper. I would never take a picture of your seed and store it on places like Google Drive or your email or Dropbox because those places can get hacked and once somebody knows your seed, that's it, all of your Bitcoin will be gone. So just go and write this down and put it into a safe place. For the video though, I'm just going to use snipping tool just so I can save it real quick. So after you've saved it, click next and you then need to retype it in and you can't paste anything in. So it just wants you to really know that you have to save this. Okay, so now we've confirmed the seed here, we can then click next and we then need to enter in a password. This can be any password, but again, make sure it's secure. Okay, so now I've done that, you want to enable encrypt wallet file, click next, and it's then going to open up your Electrum wallet. Now, when you first open it, your balance probably won't be Bitcoin. It might say something else, I forget what it says when you first open it, but go to tools, go to preferences, and here you can change your base unit here to Bitcoin. So when you first open it, it will be on MBTC. Just go and change that to Bitcoin. You can change the color theme if you want here as well. I know a lot of people like dark mode. And that's pretty much all you need to do to get it set up. Make sure that it's actually on and the network is working by this green circle here. And if you want to receive Bitcoin, you go to the receive tab. You then go to new address and it's then going to give you an address here which you can copy and if you want to receive bitcoin you can give that address to someone and they can then send you bitcoin if you want to send bitcoin obviously go to the send tab and you can then paste in any address you want to send bitcoin to give it a description add the amount and you can just go and send it so that's how you can use the electrum wallet i hope this video did help you out